We're going to go through a specific example using the chi-squared independence test. And in this example, we have the favorite colors of t-shirts, if you will, uh, for males and females. And the first thing we're going to do for the chi-squared independence test is we're going to have a null hypothesis that's going to say that the colors and gender are not dependent on one another. And the alternate hypothesis is going to be that they are dependent. The second thing is the level of significance, and I'm just going to select the level of significance of 5%. that's going to be used when we look at the final p-value to determine whether the null hypothesis is true or not. Okay, the third thing we're going to do is we're going to construct a contingency table. And for this, we're going to have um, colors. And down here we're going to have the gender. We'll say male, female, and total. Here we'll have black, um, white, red, blue. And over here we'll have total. All right. So in in this example, we're going to use um, this data. We'll have uh, male forty eight prefer black, twelve white, thirty three red. 57 blue. And then the total we add up across this row, and the total is 150. And then for females, we're going to use the 35 prefer black, 46 white, 42 red, and 27 blue. And if we add up these numbers, we come up with a total of 150 across that row. Now we have to add these up and come up with a total across the column for black. So 48 plus 35 gives us um, 83. And 12 plus 46 gives us 58. Red, 33 plus 42, 75. Blue, we have 84. Now, if we add up across this row, we should come up with the same total as across this column of 300. Okay, this is our contingency table. Uh, one other thing that I might add, I'm not sure I have enough room to put this in. These are the contingency or the data that was collected. And another value you can calculate is what's called the expected value for each um, category. The expected value is calculated on the calculator and is put in a B matrix. Um, there are also ways to calculate it manually. If we want the expected value of this 48, um, we can take the, we go across to the total 150 over 300. We multiply that by 83 over 300 uh, and then times 100 and we get this value. Um, okay, so now we have our contingency table, and the next thing we have to do is use the calculator to get our, and I'll put that down here. Now we need to calculate the chi-squared test parameter, and in the math studies program, the problems generally, they give you the um, Try 
try that again. There's a chi-squared C, or critical value, which is a chi-squared limit, and that's given, or you can get that from a, uh, tables based on the degrees of freedom and the level of significance. And if this test value that you get on the calculator exceeds this critical value, uh, then that um, proves that the null hypothesis is not true. And the p-value you get with the calculator, if it's below the significance level, then that also proves that the null hypothesis is not true. Okay, now for our table of favorite colors for males and females, we're going to enter the data collected into matrix A. And to do that, we're going to hit second, x to the minus 1, which gives us the matrix that's above the button. And then we're going to go to edit, <clears throat> and we're going to use the uh, matrix A, which is already selected. We hit enter. And our table is going to be two rows by four columns. So we have two by four, enter. Now we're going to enter our data starting at the top left. We have 48, enter, 12, enter, 33, enter, 57. Now the bottom row, 35, 46, 42, 27. All right, now we've entered everything into matrix A. Uh, so the next thing we can do is go to the chi-squared test. And for that, we're going to hit stat. And we'll cursor to the test. And then we're going to go down and find the chi-squared test. We're cursoring down. And there it is, chi-squared test on the TI-83, it's the choice C. So at that we'll hit enter. And the observed data is what we entered in matrix A. Expected data is calculated and placed in matrix B. And then we're going to calculate um, for the chi-squared value and also the um, probability row. So calculate, and here we have the chi-squared value of 33.76, the probability, which is 2.22, uh, 10 to the minus 7th, extremely small. Um, and then the degrees of freedom, it shows us, uh, are 3. The conclusion we can come to is that the p-value is much smaller than the significance of 0.05, Therefore, we reject the null hypothesis. Therefore, the alternate hypothesis is true. And in terms of the chi-squared, the 33.76, um, that's much higher than the chi-critical limit of 7.8. And therefore, based on the chi-squared value, we also reject uh, the null hypothesis, which therefore uh, we accept the alternate hypothesis that the color of t-shirts is dependent on gender.